For the first time since sweeping election law changes were enacted by state lawmakers, Iowans are voting statewide today. That's right, early voting for Iowa City Council and school board elections already underway. Details now in our top story at 6. The state's new election laws shorten the time frames for people to request and complete those absentee ballots. Sioux County Auditor Ryan Doctor tells us that less time will be required, a team effort from voters and election workers to meet these short deadlines. It's, it's going to take, you know, voter education to have them submit their absentee ballot requests um, earlier so we can start getting those processed. And then um, also time management for our, our uh, uh, election workers. We might have to hire more people to come in and help meet that demand. Voters may also vote in person absentee at their local county auditor's office. Local elections sometimes have lower turnout compared to those general elections, but Iowa Secretary of State telling us that the political atmosphere of the past year could lead to a record turnout for these municipal elections. In past years, such a small group was out voting, so I put a lot of power and influence in that small group. So, you know, people need to step up, and I think Iowans uh, are tuning into that. And I think uh, with the developments going on in our society over the last couple of years, people are a lot more interested in what's happening on their city level and uh, their schools. Sioux City residents will be choosing between four candidates for three seats on City Council. They're on your screen. Dan Moore and Alex Waters are running for another term, so they're incumbents, while Sioux City NAACP President Ike Rafer and art teacher Matthew O'Kane are running for the first time. Meanwhile, there are nine candidates vying for just two spots on the Sioux City Community School Board. Just one incumbent is on the ballot. Election Day uh, is November the 2nd for the general election. And if you'd like to see all of the changes that have been put in place at this point, you can find them on our website. That's SiouxLandProud.com or the KCAU9 News app.